Okay, so this has three, let me go ahead and go handhold hand -held for this for a minute. What we have here, so don't complain about the shaking, I'm handheld, what do you expect? All right, so we have an umbrella set up that I dialed down and I have it facing, well I'll break down that in a minute. Back here we have a gel, a gel, flagged. Flash. Don't worry about what flashes is. It can be anything. It's on manual, so it can be any flashes, basically. And back here again, we have a flash on a beauty dish. Um, so here we are, a nice grid there. Don't worry about it. Don't get caught up in what's, what the grid is and uh, all that stuff. You, you can do that all on your own. No big deal. Well, this 20 degrees, 25 degrees, all that's just minor. You're just controlling where the light is, so you'll adjust it no matter what. So now on camera, you can see now I have the camera here. 5D Mark III with the 50 millimeter on it. This is about comparing the 50 millimeter lenses also. I have uh, three of them that I'm gonna compare. Okay, here we go. On the, uh, let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit. So, can you stick tight for me? On the talents left cheek, camera right, you take a reading. Take a reading for me. Remember, I'm on manual. I'm going to have 2.0 on that. Do it again. Reset. And again. 2.0. Show the camera. 2.0. Let me show the camera for a minute. Good. And now your uh, right cheek. Reset. That's the beauty dish side. This is 4.0. So basically, we have about double the lighting from one side of the cheek to the other side. So this will give us a nice ratio of the face. Um, and you can duplicate this ratio 100% all the time once you uh, do your ratios. That's what's so good about it. And on the back wall, I have that meter at F4, um, the uh, gels. I won't bother showing you that metering. That was more about a smooth, silky look that I was looking for. On the camera, I have the ISO set at 160 as I had with the uh, light meter and I set it for 4.0. I'm going to move the camera in hand. I don't like doing all the editing so we're going to get a little choppy here sometimes in some of my videos. I, I could care less than you guys are paying me. So off it goes. Let's go. So if you are complaining, please don't complain. Just make your own video and help out other people who need the help. Isn't that something I found the face recognition in the camera? So here we are with that shot. Again, 4.0 on the uh, back wall, and that's gel. You can change those colors out left and right. And my talent is about, let's see, I wanted to show you on the floor here, fabric. It's about eight foot from the wall. And that's so my wall, my uh, lights do not hit the wall and bleed, and bleed my gel out. Now, over here, we have the umbrella. It's facing back towards the talent, not facing her directly, where it would bleed the wall out. It would bleed the uh, gel out. This one can reach the wall if I turn it up, but it's down to 4.0, it won't reach the wall. Now also, if it did reach the wall, it's putting out the same as the wall, 4.0, so it won't increase it. Um, but let's have a little fun. Let's see, uh, no, not fun. Let me show you what, oops. Let me put you back on the talent. Not only why I'm working here for a second. All right, so now this one, I'm going to work my way through three, three images here. Okay, we're good. This will be one, F forward, and let's do that again. Your eyes are a little closed on that one. Here we go. Beautiful. All right. So that's the one I just took, but I wanted to recompose it again. Staying still, I'm going to shut down the back wall now. And that's going to be, I hope it's C, or is it B? We'll find out real quickly. I think it's C, thinking like my thinking is, but... Okay, so here's the back wall. Okay, let me move this image over. Here's the image with the back wall dialed off. Now you see we got a gray wall, so let's go through the shots. That color wall, that color wall. So you can change your gels. 
Now what I'm going to do is kill the left cheek, talus left cheek, camera right, the umbrella. And we're going to take a look at that shot. I'm going to take a look at that shot. Hold that pose, you're doing great. And let me dial you back in and the camera is focused on you. You look at here. Both of them are focused on you. All right, so now I'm going to kill the umbrella, which is B. Now we're going to take the shot just with the beauty dish. Okay. So with, with beauty dish, sorry, I've got other things I'm cracking in here. With the beauty dish, now we have the lighting that's coming on there. Now we already know what that shadow is, represents. This is 4.0 on this side, 2.0 on this side. So we already know to get rid of that shadow, or to at least make it look like this, with a little bit of slight shadow on the, uh, on, coming off the talons, just to make it a softer light. And it makes it a little directional when you have that shadow. It says the light's coming from that direction. All right, here it is at, great. Here it is, let me turn this. Again, 4.0, nothing on this side right now, just beauty dish. There's the light in the back wall. So now what we do is, I'll show you what it looks like. Back to you again. Let's come back to you. Don't hurt me, people. Don't hurt me. It's really zoomed in tight on you, so keep looking good. All right, so we're going to get rid of the, uh, the beauty dish. I'll turn it off. And then I'm going to go to B, which is the, the um, umbrella, and shoot it alone. And now I'll show you what the umbrella looks like. Let me dial this in for a second. Now this is what the umbrella shot looks like. As you can see, this is 2.0, barely making it onto the other side of the face. Um, real dark, but it's giving a nice... As you can see, it's going to give a nice, nice tone to her, to that side without just blowing it all out. So now we will do that too, though. But let's work our way up to it. So what I'm showing you is that you don't have to um, go crazy over all your lights. You can add them one at a time. And the... Uh, sorry. The light meter is pretty simple to use. You're going to set it. Let me see if I can bring it out here, arm's length. You're going to set this light meter to ISO. 160 in this case. You're going to have your dome over because it's going to be reading flash. You're going to set the flash settings. Simply press the button on this, the Polaris, but all of them pretty much the same. And you're going to take a reading. Now, give me a reading. Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to take a general reading of everything. I'm going to turn them all back on again. Let's go ahead and do the back wall first. Let's, that's, uh, that's C. So you can hold that for a second. Don't, you can put it down. Um, and let's take reading C. Here's the back wall only. And it's going to look pretty rich, as you'll see. The, like I said, the light, when it comes out, you are going to get some bouncing around in the room. Hmm. Doesn't look as rich as uh, I can see it on my monitor, of course. Right about there. And you can see the gel did not. And the reason why you want to shoot your gel separately, like I just did, you want to see if the gels are coming in on your talent's face, if it's bouncing off the ceiling, etc. It's a little back there. I'm not worried about that. Um... Let's go ahead and turn that back on while I'm talking at least. So it's a little back there, but not much. So now when I bring in the other grid on this side and the umbrella on this side. I usually don't use umbrella for fill light, but I'm thinking what people might have. As far as this grid goes, you can um, let me zoom back out. I'm on you now on this one. So um, as far as umbrellas go, I mean, as far as uh, grid goes, uh, you can get these pretty reasonably, 100 Plus dollars, you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on it. The hundreds of dollar guys do not do anything separate. There's nothing special about them. Some of them are white lined, some of them are silver lined, and all that. Um, I've used them all. I don't see the difference in a lot of this equipment if you if you dial your uh, your lighting correctly. But I don't like shoot through umbrellas. They they're hot. They create hot, hot, hot spots. Okay. So now, this is with everything on. Let me get a reading in front. To press it on. And we didn't do a reading in front. Okay, good. So this is what the camera is seeing in general. 4.0. Let, let me see it. Show the camera right here. 4.0. And I have 4.0 and a half. So in general, that's what it's seeing. 
and if you remember that is what we metered at that is what we metered the talents um, right cheek camera left that's what we metered at to do the full sorry for so many times saying that's what we metered at just stalling obviously all right so 4.0 2.0 4.0 in the back wall light meter is the way to go on this one now watch what I, I'm going to show you a nice little trick that most of these guys don't do. Say I, I don't like it. I wish it was in generally all all lower or all brighter. Um, watch how simple this is. You're going to love it. I'm doing a little su suspense on you. Just trying to, you know, I just hate giving away all my goodies, but I'll give this one away. You don't have to go away turn it, to go around turning this one and that one and this one. And you don't have to do it through ISO. Um, since the back, since the talent is, we're not worried about the background. There's nothing we're going to bring up in the background by going to different, different apertures. We're going to, and I'm going to do this now. Good. And I'm going to make it darker. I'm going to make the, everything darker. Let's see if I can get, make sure that's clear to you. Let me get rid of the uh, one image with the... Um, Okay, here we go. Just got rid of one image with the light meter. So trying to review for you. All right, I didn't click the camera again. You heard that. All right, let's turn. Let me zoom in. All right, so this is the image before. Let it focus, I'm waiting. Come on, both of these are Canon cameras zooming. Okay, let's see if it can help it out. Let me zoom out a little bit more. There we go, zoom back in, oh, lost it. Looks like it's as tight as we're gonna get. This is the one I took previously. And this is the one I just took. As you can see, it gets a little darker and a little richer. I'll zoom in. So that does that nest and the ratios are still going to stay the same, left and right. But one's brighter. As you can see, the shadows are, are just the same still. Highlights, less highlights. But still, less rich highlights. Now I'm going to take it even further. We're going to go. Okay, look at the look at this camera, sorry. Sorry for not telling you in advance. All right, here we go. And I, I was at um, 5.0. Now we're going to go to 6.3. So now you know how much I'm underexposing it based on what you knew the light meter said. But that's okay. You know, this is, this is creativity we're dealing with here. Let's see if I can turn it. Turn it a little bit. So this is, let's go with info, 6.3. This is 5.0. This is 4.0. Brighter. 5.0 is pretty decent. I love it. I like the hair. I like the texture I can see in the hair and all that. Um, and here's 6.3. 6.3 is starting to get flat on me because it's underexposing and it just can't do, you know, this side is getting darker, of course, because it was at 2.0 and I'm way understopped on that one. Um, and here we go. Now let's go the other direction just for the sport of it. Let's brighten it up. And let's go with, we were at 4.0 is the, is the correct metering. So I'm going to take it down to 2.8. So I'm going to double the light. And let's see. I'm going to switch, bring you back around here. Give me a minute. All right, now that's actually as bright as it looks. All right, that's 2.8. 2.8, 6.3, that makes sense because that's the way we were going. 2.8, 6.3, so at 2.8, let's go back there and blow it up. I like when you overexpose things a lot. It youngs the face up without too much software using. Yeah, it blows it out, but, but you and I know that, or you and I might know it as technically what we're doing wrong. Um, but the talent, they love it. They look so much younger and beautiful, more beautiful than they are. You can see my two catch lights in here are, oops. Let's see if I can do this. It's kind of tough when you're leaning over and trying to think here. See the catch lights? Beautiful. And the face is nice. Um, very marketable image. Now you can shoot this. You can also just go in Lightroom and bounce it up one exposure, down a quarter exposure, one eighth of exposure. Uh, I would probably go with the, uh, uh, if I was going to be pushing it around like that, 
The 4.0, because you're going to get a sharper image. 8.0 would be your outstanding image, which um, is kind of cool. Now, real fast, if I can do this fast, oh, I'm going to be cutting this video off. Let me think about this. The sharpest part of Canon lenses are 8.0. That's the way they use their scales. We don't care about that because we don't want sharpness. If we did sharpness, we'd be bringing out all the details. It's a finger. All the details. Who wants details in a face? If you're shooting product photography, yeah, you want those details. But don't go up to f8. Don't go to f11. You don't want the sharpness. You want it to be a little dull. Here are the images that you previously saw in camera as I was reviewing. You can stop anytime and go backwards and figure out which lights are dropping in and coming back in per the review. Um, like that one there had no, no backlighting at all. And then you're seeing the gray wall. This is no uh, key light. The grid light's off. Back wall on only. Um, back wall and key light, etc. Um, and then you'll see when the talent's left side, our camera right now, fills in a little bit. The umbrella does a great job of filling in. And these are the overexposed shots. And here's about a final image.